look how pretty the sun is right now coming through right here um, I'm starting a reading vlog because I am on my way to shameless book con in Orlando y'all I'm so freaking excited I get to see Sam Brie Caitlin and so many authors that I'm excited to meet and just hang out with um, I'm gonna try to vlog this hopefully I'll remember to do everything and to vlog all the parts of it but um, I'm going through the Starbucks line right now because coffee is life and I have like a little over an hour of a drive to Orlando from where I live so I'm on my way now um, I we have like the best day coming up and I feel like I want to tell you but I also want to like surprise you a little bit so I'm going to meet Brie and Caitlin at first. Sam is coming from farther away, so it's gonna take her a lot longer to get here. So we're not gonna see her till later on, but we're gonna go have lunch in downtown Disney, and then we're gonna check in, and then we're do, well, and then we have dinner plans for later. So I'm really excited. But I figured I would go ahead and start this, like do some type of intro, that way you guys can get ready for this. It's gonna be a fun weekend. I'm so excited because first off, I have never met anybody like any of my booktube friends in person yet so this is a first for me i'm just so excited and i've never been to a book signing before i know i don't know what's wrong with me um no, nothing ever happens in florida so this is like a one-time thing and i'm just like I, i'm ready i'm ready um yeah so this is going to be a lot of new experiences. I get a break away from my kids, which I feel like I have really needed lately and it's super important, but I'm excited. I'm going to bring you guys along and we'll touch base later. Bye. Cause I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to love. Not afraid to love. You. I'm not Can't find Caitlin. I can't find Bree. I don't know where anything's at. Where are my friends? Just standing by my car. Found a plane. I don't know where anybody's at. Okay, is this her? Nope. Nope. She keeps getting lost. Where's Bree? I've been trying to find Bree. Nobody knows where Bree's at. I'm standing around like a lost dog in the parking lot just waiting for my people. My people are not here. And I look even more like an idiot because I'm just talking to myself in this parking lot. And people are starting to watch. Come on, come on girls. I don't see anybody. I'm on this back end and this makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. I don't even know if Caitlin's at the right hotel. I actually just went to the wrong hotel and I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? The guy's like, oh, you're at the palace one. What is the difference between the palace and the regular one? And I'm starting to sweat. And I don't like this. There she is. I found her. I found you! <laughs> oh my god! I was like, I was like, what is happening right now? Park your car! Park your car! Oh hey, where am I gonna park? I don't know where Bree's at either. Like she's the room numbering is so off. There's the love librarian! Come here, hug me. Come on and hug me. Hug you! Yay! Feels like forever. Hi! No! Can you see I'm like Fritz? Hi! How are you? Hi! Oh my gosh, I love it. We're so wrong. I know, look at this. I'm so pants like. 
comfy. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Bye. Legit, the hardest part. <laughs> so you're like, oh my gosh, this is a tote bag. Stop! Do you like it? Oh my god, this is perfect. Isn't it so cute? I think it's the perfect size. Sarah Kate and that was fun. Who else? Mm. I'm brain farting now. Lucia Franco. Lucia Franco. Yeah. Yeah. Nicole Fiorina. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nyla Kay. 
Who else? Kristen Becker Ritchie. Eh. <laughs> Pass. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot of people there. SJ Silvis is going to be there, but mm -hmm. I heard her series gets better, though, as you go. Does it? Yeah. Who else? I don't know. We were just talking about this. I'll look at the list. We just went to an influencer breakfast, which was interesting. Was interesting because there's some very strange conversations. Yes, a lot about about wolves and DP and yeah, and yeah, masturbating and cleaning your hands. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alessandra Tori. Yeah, Alessandra Tori. Alexandria Lee. Mm -hmm. So dancing with sin. I have Moonshot, mm -hmm. Filthy Vows. Nikki Ash is going to be there. Helen Hart. Have you read mm -hmm. Helen Hart? No, but I see her books everywhere. Yeah, Follow Me Darkly. Is That's that good. serious? That's pretty good. good. Gail Harris is who we. That's, That's who we met yesterday. Here's your friend. Who? <laughs> Gail. Yeah, Gail. Gail Harris. Hey, she wrote um, Cake. J. Ben Benson. Really? Yeah. Oh. The Rockstar Romance. I loved that book. Oh. I forgot about that. Hmm. It's a really good meet cute, too. Ellie Cotton. I've heard of her. Hmm. We met at the... At the influencer breakfast, we met Lucy Smoke, M. Robinson. What was the other? Sienna, S what? Sienna, Sienna, Sienna Snow. Snow. Mm -hmm. Those are the only ones that. And Z what is it? Zio. Yeah. Zio. How, how do you say it? It's Zio. Zio Xer. I don't know. Mm -hmm. No clue. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. The goal is to not spend a lot of money on. Oh, okay. This is just not very flattering. Look, <laughs> no matter which way I turn it, I like it. Yeah. Yes. I mean, Sam I mean, Mariano. Saint Mariano. Yeah. Like, we're, that's just Sarah Kate. You forgot yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, Sarah Kate. But like Shay Savage, she wrote Transcendence. Oh yeah, that's what um, Bree said. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of a smaller, a smaller list. Signing, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it's five hours. It's from 12 to 5, so I doubt we'll be there that long. And then we're going to Opa tonight. Opa! Opa! Yeah. It's okay. Like, I don't know. It's like a Greek thing. <laughs> it's like they throw napkins and smash <laughs> plates and belly dance. It's fun. It's okay. fun. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Vlogging this, you know that, right? <laughs> Look at this girl. <laughs> there is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt.
Hi. Okay, I'm gonna cut in right here real quick because I realized that during the signing and the influencer breakfast, I didn't check in, like I didn't explain anything at all. So I do want you guys to have an idea of what we did. So the influencer breakfast was really cool actually. I We didn't really know what to expect and we were a little nervous because the second that we got there, they said that it was gonna be like speed dating. And instantly Sam and I are like, eh, eh, abort, like we are not doing this. And so we're like, okay, we'll just try it. Well, I think once we saw the food, we were like, oh, this looks like a good breakfast bar. We'll stay here. So they had this whole breakfast bar set up for us that like wrapped around the room. And then you go in and there's like six or seven round tables and there's authors at each table. Some or some tables had one author, but most of them had two. Most of them I had never heard of. I think the only ones I did know was Sienna Snow. Um, what was the other one? Pepper Winters. M. Robinson, Pepper Winters, was she there? Lucy Smoke. So I, I think the only one I have read a book by is M. Robinson. Um, I wasn't crazy about that book, but I was excited to like hear about her. Um, so yeah, so there was a different author at each table and basically like as a group, we went and sat at a table and then there's a questionnaire sheet that they have sitting at each table and the authors answer questions. Like they, I think they kind of suggested that you pick two questions to talk about some of them were a little a little over the top a little over the top some of the questions i was like is this really a question are we talking about this right now but it was really interesting it was really neat to like talk to all the authors pick their brains see like what type of romance they work sorry if you can hear my laundry room in the background i'm like washing all my clothes right now um so it was, it was just interesting to hear like the subgenres that they write in romance and you know their viewpoint like their marketing just different things like that one of the main questions that i was asking was you know what's a good book to start with of yours and they were all really helpful with that so that was really fun so we like basically rotated tables around in the room and we got to share you know like me brie um sam and caitlin we all talked about like how we're on booktube they were all really supportive of that like it was very interesting to them and they they kept talking to you about how like youtube is becoming this thing that people are turning to for recommendations and it's becoming more popular. So that was really exciting to hear. And you could just tell that they um, were excited for us and excited to like share their books with us. So that was really fun. A um, little out of our comfort zone, but we made the most of it. That was a really fun time. And then like when we went to the signing, I was just so excited just to be there. Like I, it was exhausting. And this was a smaller signing too. So like when we go to Book Bonanza, I just need to mentally prepare myself um, and definitely have a cart. This time I wasn't really expecting to buy a whole lot and I told myself like, no, just like get your book signed and leave. Did that happen? No. I will share some of the books that I got. I pretty much had like some OG authors that I knew I wanted to prioritize and that was, um, who was that? Sarah Kate, Lucia Franco, um, Sam Mariano, duh, and... I wanted to see Alexandria Lee because, and I actually, I got, which I got Dancing with Sin from her. This is one of my favorite books. You guys know that I've talked about this a lot, but I, I wanted it physically because, well, I waited to buy it because I knew she was going to be at Shameless. So I was like, I'm not going to buy the physical copy. I'll just buy it from her there. And she was really freaking awesome. One of the first things she asked us was Sam and I went to her table and she's like, what's your channel? And she followed us right away on Instagram, wanted to support us. She was just super cool and um, just a really sweet person. So she signed mine in here and I'm just really happy I have this cover now. But also we met SJ Silvis and she was amazing. Like the cutest little thing. I'll put the picture of us up here for you to see. But she was so freaking cute. And she, we bought, well Sam and I both bought um, her newest duet. And the first one is Good Girls Never Rise. I think I've talked about this one before, like wanting it to, or wanting to read it and it being on my TBR. She said it ends on a cliffy. And then, so I bought, um, then bad boys never fall. I'm really excited to read this one. It sounds really good. I want to say it's like prep school. Oh yeah. Boarding school. I don't know. She writes, um, bully romance really well. I did read one of her books before and I gave it three and a half stars, but it wasn't, I don't, I think it just didn't like hold my attention the way I wanted it to. So I'm really hoping that these work out for me and I want to support her. She was just like super fun 
and um, just such a sweet person. So really enjoyed talking to her and she once again was like excited about us being on YouTube and wanted to support us and so that was really cool. And then I also brought Moonshot, my copy that I have. This is like one of my favorite baseball romances by Alessandra Torre. She also wrote Filthy Vowels, which is another one of my favorite like marriage and trouble books. Not really marriage and trouble, but more like exploring in your marriage. Um, so she did sign this one and I just thought it was really sweet. Like she like personalized it and put, um, I'm so happy you loved this book. So that was really sweet. I love this book. Glad I got to meet her. But then when we went to lunch with Sarah Kate, also we met, well, we had lunch with two of her friends who are the new up and coming authors. And they were actually in the showcase that we went to on Friday night. Um, they weren't going to be at the signing on Saturday. So we went there and I wanted to like buy some of their books to support them. They were so nice and they were basically telling us that they were going to give us their books. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I came with money to spend and to support you. So let's buy something. So I bought one from Gail Harris. I think I might have a picture of her so I can put that up here if I have it. If not, there's no picture. Um, I bought Ashes and this is a firefighter romance, she said, and he is her neighbor. I don't really know anything past that, but um, it just says he's a cocky firefighter and something. I don't know. Looks good. I want to support Gail Harris. She was seriously so sweet. Like this girl loves sparkles, but like writes dark romance and rom-com. So it's super intriguing. I just, she was just so much fun. So much fun. And then the other one that was an author that we had lunch with was Katie Ray. And I bought the games we play by her. What this is really sweet because she her and I instantly clicked because she loves the Atlanta Braves and we happen to be talking about baseball and sports romances and I was like if there's a baseball player in it I will read it and she's like oh I have a book like one of the first books in the series and it's a baseball football player it's an MFM and I'm like sold sold so that's this book that I bought oh that's a bookmark um that's this book the games we play I bought this from her. I'm really, really, really excited to try this. So her and I instantly clicked and it was just really fun because we had like a common love for the Braves and we were talking about all of our favorite players and how hot they look in tight pants and it was a really good time. So I wanted to just check in and let you guys know about that. Um, I feel like I haven't really done a whole lot of talking in this vlog about what we're doing other than like kind of updating in videos as we go. We're just having a great time. I love hanging out with Brie and Sam and Caitlin. They just, ah, oh, just so good for my soul. So I'm gonna let it keep playing.
good. Uh, I'm trying to end this video out. What was your favorite thing? Like, what was the best part? Yo. Now that it's over. Yeah. I Yo. think it was, yeah. I think it was being together. Yeah. Yo. Yo. I mean, bathrooms were cool. We were probably in and out in like an hour and a half. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because it was like what? Started at 11? No, 12 for us. Mm hmm. Two hours. Yeah. Done. <laughs> yeah. And cool. most of it was Kristen and Becca Ritchie. Yeah, Kristen and Becca Ritchie <laughs> had the longest line. They did. And Sarah Kate. Mm hmm. The two longest lines in there. I feel like we stayed and talked with Lucia. Oh, she was the so longest. sweet. She was so sweet. Mm hmm. Such cool. a little tiny thing. Coba and Rhea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but definitely that. Yeah, one my also, we got a lot of a lot of books that we don't want. So, what the hell are we we're doing? trying what to think. About to do? What are we doing with them? We haven't read them, right? And we have no intentions to read them. Sam <laughs> wants to leave them in the hotel room so they can talk about us with our new name connected to the room. Caitlin yeah, Cheyenne and Sam they're gonna be like. I was not on the room. These girls <laughs> went to this shameless book con and just left, left their the books. Bus. Why'd they even come? They're gonna call us. Y'all left your books. I, I know. I know. Caitlin went to Opa tonight, and you've probably already seen the video, but Opa, best best thing ever. Best thing ever. I got a second day job, guys. Yeah. 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 I, I hate, I hate this belly answer for Caitlin's performance. I'm basically a stripper. You're what? I'm basically a stripper. <laughs> so these cookies are very good. Yeah. Okay. Well. This is delicious. You guys want to share the books you have? That you got or no? Mm -hmm. We could. So we could. What'd you get? <clears throat> so, the ones I was most excited about were Krista and Becca Ritchie. Like, I brought the ones that I hadn't already had signed and they were so patient. And signing like all 20 of the books and they helped me hold them. Oh my <laughs> yeah. gosh. And then I ended up buying three more at their table. Um, you did? I didn't even notice that. Yeah. The illustrated the, covers. The really cute ones. Oh. The ones the girl that was okay. their design. But actually one of my favorite things I got wasn't even a book. It was the mug from Lucia Frankel's table oh. that is always sold out on her site. But it like says militia on the side. And she had them because she drove here. So she brought some with her for sale. So I grabbed one. And then I want to give away too. I want an author giveaway. I know. My favorite. And, and, Nikki, and, and, and she knew every single random person in this place. All of a sudden, some best friends. I yeah. feel like they knew me. Though. All of a sudden, someone would be <laughs> yelling Caitlin, and we're all just like, what is happening? Well, one of them knew my government name too. I was scared for a sec. And I was like, how she know my last name? Yeah. <laughs> but it's not what you call me in public. Okay. That you really wanted. Oh. Um, I think I really wanted to. I can just see Sam Mariano. That's what I really think. Yes. But I think the two that I was not expecting to get that I'm most excited about was this duet. Mm -hmm. I don't even know the name of the duet. Was that But yeah. Good Girls Never Rise and Bad Boys Never Fall. Is it like prep school? Yeah. What is it? I like those covers. Is it bully? Oh, do the covers go together? But do make they? a crest? They do. Oh, yeah. That is so cool. Put on the wow. Camera. That is cool. I, I should have bought it just for that. You should. Okay. Okay. Here we go. That's cool. So we read what was the book? All the little lies. All the little lies. Yes. yes. And I think we both gave it three and a half stars. Yeah. It was really good, like the writing and everything. But she said this is like one of her newest and mm -hmm. the one that she recommends the most. Mm -hmm. This one's a lot fatter than the. I know. Is that the first one? But she said one? this one ends on a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. so. This is a duet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got the same thing too. Mm -hmm. Tell the people you're going to read this, Sean. <gasps> yeah, I bought. Is Wait, you got. That's, that's, the original that's color. your original one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mine's all the way over there. I got. Hot house. Because I'm turning on a new leaf. Peer and pressure works. I'm gonna, yeah, peer pressure is a real thing mm -hmm. in this group. And I'm gonna read, what did I buy? What's it called? I think Hot House Flower. Hot House Flower. Flower. Rike and Daisy. Rike and Daisy's book. Crazy. And the Calloway Sister series, right? Yes. Okay, see, I finished the Addicted series, 
Did not like it. Y'all know because I think Lily is super sweaty and gross. She's wet. I'm and, like dog. Yeah, yeah. I mean, literally. She's yeah. A dog. Bless her heart. Um, yeah. So they convinced me to read Hot House Flower. Now, will I read it soon? I haven't even read it. I, I just don't know. know. It'll be a 2023 read. I don't know. <laughs> or I could go home and just be like, I just feel like I need to fulfill this for you, Caitlin. And I think. I, yeah, think I, like I think McKay would be really happy too. Because we love Razy, right? McKay? Yeah. And she just said this that was like one of her top reads of the year, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, did. so even more reason to read to read it. In twenty twenty two. Right. And Reich rock climbs and that's very sexy. Without so. protective equipment to right. bear rock climbing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just hope Daisy's grown up a little bit and she's eight. That's all that matters. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, but I also bought Dancing with Sin by Alexander Lee. I wanted mm. that one. Which I love that book. Oh. I don't know why I don't own the copy already, but. And then. Mm. What was her table? It was right next to Alexandra Torre. Wait, it was like it was down. down a little bit. Yeah, like mm. two or three down. Mm -hmm. oh. Got Moonshot sign. You ordered Moonshot. I ordered Moonshot. She didn't have any. I don't think she brought any spares of anything. Yeah. But she had like sheets where you could order it um, and she'll ship it to you free so that was very nice because mm -hmm. I've heard good things about Moonshot. She had her thrillers out too didn't she? She did. Yeah. Yeah. I don't read thrillers. You read the sexy one. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. I, what are the other ones that she has? They remind other me of K.A. Tucker's um, which ones? you know the little tiny breasts books that she oh, has. Yeah. They reminded yeah. me of those. I didn't even see Filthy Vows at her table. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't even know if she put up a pre-order. She did but it was like through her website. Oh. And like you had to like pay right away, and I was gonna cheat. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. I would have bought it. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, y'all invoice. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. I didn't buy anything else. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Who else did we go to? Oh, I, I pre ordered two from Nyla Kay. I got two from Nyla Kay and one from Lucia. And you got two from Sarah Kay. You didn't pre order for her. Right? No, I own all her books. Yeah. I have like the original, the original the gravity. Seat. Glossy yeah, the covers. glossy, like, original font of Gravity. Huh. Which I didn't even notice that it was a new font until she said that. Oh, it's a whole different font? Yeah, she said the font's different and everything. Oh, I didn't notice that. It just shows now I'm going to look. I'm, You're an OG I'm stereotype. OG. I'm OG. You're a priest, salacious mm -hmm. You've been VIP. I know. I'm a bad girl. <laughs> I'm a good girl. This is my badge. <laughs> I feel like I read Gravity before even Praise came out. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Oh, look at you, VIP, too. Yeah. I'm a sucker. I read Except she didn't like it. We don't go there. She didn't like it. This girl. I'll let y'all know how I feel when I read it. Yeah. Because um, she sold out of everything at her table. So. Yeah. But that's good for her. That's a good problem to have. We, 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 we went to her table almost last, about an hour and a half in, and she had like three books left. On and the, the table. signing didn't end until five, and she was sold out before two o'clock. Yeah. So it was a good problem to have for her. Yeah. Yeah. They was eating up all the Emerson covers. Okay. That's the end of this vlog. This was fun. Um, we too old to be up this late. Now we're going to read and go to, bed. go to bed and then go home tomorrow. Yes. And then not see each other for one time. You got a pretty thing. <laughs> you got a friend in me. Okay, we're done. Back it up. Bye.